Assemblyman Jordan Cunningham is trying to pass a bill that would prevent law enforcement officers from using their power to commit a sexual assault. It comes after a woman says she was raped by a former police sergeant out of Paso Robles. Today we learned that woman filed a claim for damages against the city of Paso Robles. KSBY's Megan Healy joins us live in the newsroom to break this all down for us. Megan? Good evening, Karina. Well, a woman is claiming that a former Paso Robles police sergeant Christopher McGuire sexually assaulted her multiple times and that the city knew about it and didn't do anything to stop it. Now Assemblyman Cunningham is sponsoring a bill that would prevent police officers from using threat of arrest to commit a sexual assault. Assemblyman Jordan Cunningham says this case motivated him to introduce AB 1599. It would make it illegal for a law enforcement officer or anyone pretending to be one to use their power to commit a sexual assault. Uh, right now that is actually not the law. Believe it or not, we looked into it and so I can see why the DA had some trouble with deciding what law might have been violated in this circumstance. The DA's office began reviewing these sexual assault claims against McGuire in August of 2018, but ultimately decided not to file charges. McGuire resigned in October, but the woman making these claims wants him to get more than just a slap on the wrist. In a recent claim filed in February, the woman says it all happened in 2017 after police responded to her home and arrested her then boyfriend on suspicion of rape and false imprisonment. The woman says after the other officers left, McGuire stayed behind, got her alone, and forced her to touch him in a sexual way. A victim of a domestic abuse and Officer McGuire preyed upon her at her most vulnerable moment. She says McGuire returned to her home a couple of days later and raped her. Over the course of the next four months, she says McGuire assaulted and harassed her while on patrol. Now, her attorney, Brian Claypool, says the city is at fault for not doing more. She need to bring about change in, in the uh, hiring, training, and supervision of police officers, not only in the city of Paso Robles, but uh, nation. The Paso Robles Police Chief Ty Lewis says he found out about the claim Monday night. We have nothing to hide. We have nothing to cover up. Whatever the facts reveal, that's, that's what's going to come out, and, you know, we'll deal with them as a department. Now, Chief Lewis tells me the claim was forwarded to the city attorney's office for review. And with these claims, the government agency has 45 days to respond. And after the 45 days, the filing party can then follow up with a lawsuit. Now, the attorney who did file the claim says they intend to sue the city for millions of dollars. Live in the newsroom, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. All right, Megan, thank you. And we did post a full claim on our website, KSBY.com.